Question 1 of the Module 5 assignment deals with the transcription and translation of the DNA, essentially taking the message that's in the genetic code of DNA and making some sort of protein product, because ultimately proteins are the cell tools and that's what's going to be used in uh, doing work within the cell. So let's uh, take a look at uh, what we're given. We've got a messenger RNA uh, split off into its triplets as such. Right? Uh, it's written from the five prime on the left side to the three prime side, uh, three prime direction. And one A asks to write the sequence of both strands of DNA that correspond to the mRNA strand, and identify the DNA strand that serves as a template to produce this mRNA. So let's go take a look at our notes. There we go. All right. So here we have transcription and process. All right, so uh, this strand right here, or here's our double-stranded DNA, nice and tightly wound, held together by its hydrogen bonds. And over here is RNA polymerase, this thing right there. And it's opened up the DNA, and it's now transcribing the DNA, or using the template of DNA to make an RNA product. So I always feel it helps to, uh, to write or draw a figure as you're doing this, okay? So let's draw our own. <coughs> our own uh, transcription process, okay? So here's our double-stranded DNA product. Okay, nice and beautiful looking. And there, like that. Held together by hydrogen bonds, right? And uh, what are, what's the complementary base pairing that holds the um, bases together? That's right. A goes to T, C goes to G. I always use the phrase, at the DNA, to try to help me remember this, at or at, right? And then you know C, C goes to G. Um, the double-stranded DNA has to be opened up so then RNA polymerase can access it. So here we're gonna have RNA polymerase sitting right there. And it's gonna start making our mRNA product. Right there, maybe I should change the color. Up oh, too late. Okay, so here we have our mRNA product, right? So this will be our mRNA. Come out of space our mRNA product made by our enzyme that makes RNA or mRNA called RNA polymerase. Essentially it polymerizes RNA. Right? So the product of transcription is going to be mRNA. Um, let me change colors here to try to make this a bit less messy. Oops, I want to see white. Now the top strand is the strand that's going to be used or that the RNA polymerase is going to use to make our mRNA product or the top strand is our template right? think about what the word template means template is something that you use to make something else essentially copy so in this case our template strand is going to be used to make our mRNA product now how does RNA polymerase know what base goes uh, into the mRNA by reading the template. That's right, we got our complementary base pairing rules. All right? So let's say we have this strand of, uh, uh, of our template. The mRNA is going to be complementary. All right? So here we have um, DNA on the top. Let's make our RNA in red. So we got C, U, remember in RNA it's U instead of T. A and G. Okay, so now because in our question we've been given the mRNA product, our template DNA is going to be the opposite of our mRNA product. Okay, so here's our template. I'm going to switch it into blue. This is our template. This is our mRNA product. Now, sometimes the template is also called a coding strand. I think your book may refer to it as the coding strand. Um, regardless of which, it's the same. It's the thing that the RNA polymerase is going to use to make the mRNA, whether it uses the code of the template strand or the coding strand, or whether it uses it as a template to make your mRNA. Now, your non notice that uh, in this double-stranded DNA, or DNA is double-stranded, we have a second strand that sits around and doesn't do anything, doesn't participate. This is called our non-template strand or non-coding strand. Essentially, it's a bystander during the transcription process. Of course, we know the sequence of the non-coding strand or the non-template strand because it's the opposite of our template strand. 
So let's uh, do this one in green. I like blue and green. Okay, so here we have C, T, A, what is that, a C? G. Okay, so that's, this is now our non-coding strand, or non-template strand. Now note the similarity between our non-template strand and our mRNA strand. It's exactly the same, except for the only difference being that in our non-template strand, because of DNA, we have a T. In our template strand, because it's RNA, we have a U. And so often, we look at the non-template strand to find out what the mRNA is going to look like. Now once you've figured out, or I guess now, now that we have our mRNA strand, Read it in, three, in threes to figure out what the uh, amino acids are using the amino acid or codon chart table in your book. Um, use this or let's see if you can get to that stage at least. And uh, if there's any more issues with the actual translation part, uh, we'll look at that in a second.